Welcome back to Impossible Color in this episode of Save My Photo. Thanks to all the new subscribers from Reddit, Flickr, and everywhere else. Today's dark and mysterious image was submitted by Hannah McConnell. You can link to her photo stream in the description below. I think this is a very intriguing photo with a lot of great potential. It's got some great leading lines that draw you right into the subject. But there's a lot of detail on the top and bottom that kind of distract a little bit from the central image. So I'm going to try a cinematic crop. Also going to deal with trying to align these elements because the camera was shifted a little bit more to one side. Well, let's jump right into all the changes. First up, in Photoshop, we're going to make a duplicate layer. And I'm going to do a lens correction because it looks like we got a little bit of tilt going on. And let's get our cinematic crop. If you extend the crop beyond the edge, you can actually add to your canvas. Now we're going to fill in the extra space that we added on with the crop. And just by going Edit, Fill, and Content Aware. It actually does a pretty good job most of the time. And if it's not quite perfect, just do a selection and fill it in again. And that looks pretty good to me. Now I'm going to take this pillar and duplicate it over to the other side with a feathered edge. Try to balance these two out a little bit. We're going to add some variation later, so don't worry if it looks exactly the same. And just merge these two layers together. Now I'm going to do a selection of the middle pillar and I'm going to space it out so that it, the spacing looks equivalent to the one that's on the left side. So I'm just going to move that over. And that spacing looks pretty good. And with the layer underneath, we're just going to clone away the old pillar. Just grabbing some foliage from the area around it. And that looks pretty good to me. Except some of these other areas that were left over. I'm going to do a selection and fill this the leftover stuff. Didn't quite get it, so I'm going to use the patch tool and steal some information from the other side. Now I'm going to create a mask on the layer and just fill in this area so it shows through to the area below. And merge those two layers together. Now I'm going to do a feathered selection of this area here and just move it to the other side. It's just so we can get some details in the corners there to fill it out. And I'm going to create a mask on that layer as well. So wherever I paint black, it shows through. I'm going to do some content aware fill. Fix up some of those areas that don't look quite natural. And now I'm just doing some spot treatment. Kind of jumping between the spot removal tool and the clone tool. Trying to fix up all these little bright spots that are sticking out. Distract the eye a little bit and adding some variation in special areas.
want to make sure that you don't have any repeating shapes anywhere. And it's a good idea to zoom out and zoom back in. Using the clone stamp tool, we just extended that border line. And now I'm just doing a copy to finish it up on the other side. I'm going to make a duplicate of that. And now with the paintbrush, I'm, I'm basically just painting black to try to draw some attention away from the edges and kind of draw the eyes into the center of the image. And I'm going to set my blending mode to multiply. And I'm going to go to image, apply image so that that layer blends in a little bit more naturally with the layer below. Now this look a lot more natural than if you just did a multiply by itself. Now I'm going to do some level adjustments on an adjustment layer just to even out those tones and help the image pop a little bit more. It's looking a little bit flat. So that looks much better, a lot more pop. Now I'm going to paint it more. See if I can darken some of these edges even more. Refine this time. And it looks like I got a repeating tree here, so I'm going to sample the some various areas around the image. Make that look more natural. You don't want it to look fake and copied. Looks much better. Let's do the same thing with this weird tree that's sticking out of the way. I'm constantly scanning the image for any little imperfections that are drawing the eye. If they don't add to the central image, then I try to remove them. You don't want to remove all the details, but just those little bright flecks that, that draw the attention away. I'm going to do a curves level adjustment and change all of the colors individually, red, green, and blue. And I'm going to provide a more ominous tone for this image because it does seem mysterious. And that looks a lot more cinematic to me. So on to the sharpening. Make a duplicate layer, create a layer mask, and we're going to do apply image again. And set this to multiply. We're going to apply it to the layer below. And then if you go to filter, find edges under the stylize, you get an image like this invert it and then you adjust the values so that you have a nice clean white edge around everything these are the areas that we're going to sharpen so click back on the image and sharpen on sharp mask and pick some nice values here and now it's only applied in the areas where we did the find edges and that concludes the retouch for this image. Thanks again, Hannah McConnell. It's a beautiful image. I hope you like the changes. And here's a nice close-up for you. If anyone would like their photo featured for the next week, please submit a link in the comments below. Please subscribe if you want to get notifications on new videos as they come in. Thanks a lot for watching Impossible Color, and we'll see you next week.